But first, he is lucky to be alive. A San Antonio police officer's body camera acting as a shield after police say a man opened fire on that officer. Chief William McManus says the bullet hit the officer's body camera directly, preventing it from going any further. The officer returned fire, hitting the suspect. The night team's Jaffney Gray with the traffic stop that turned into a gunfire exchange. We are extremely lucky not to have a dead officer tonight. Chief William McManus reacting tonight after one of his police officers survived what he described as a shootout with a 22 year old man. It happened around 630 this evening. McManus says it started when two officers pulled over the driver near Southwest Military and Logwood Avenue. Police did not say what the driver was pulled over for. During that traffic stop, McManus says one of the three people in the car got out and started to run toward this driveway near I-35 and Grosvenor Boulevard. When the suspect hit that driveway, he turned and started shooting at the officer. He ran out of bullets and pulled a second weapon, pulled a second handgun out and continued to shoot. Sigmanis says one of those bullets hit the officer directly in his body camera, not penetrating the officer's chest. From the ground, witnesses report, because the bullet knocked him down, he returned fire. The officer shot the suspect once in the abdomen and once in the arm. A neighbor who asked not to be identified heard it all go down. He said he and his wife dug down until the gunfire stopped. Well, then I went up to the living room, and that's what I could hear. The officer saying, get down, don't move. The round blew up the whole front of the body cam. Uh, they're, right now they're attempting to upload the video so they can download it, see if they can capture anything. And right now that suspect is in the hospital and if he survives, he is facing an attempted capital murder charge. Now another passenger and the driver were detained for questioning. As far as the second officer, he was not hurt during the shooting. On the South Side, Jeffrey Gray, KSAT 12 News.